one of the most interesting biomes in all of this world lies just two blocks from Nutria High School. It is called the Freshwater Lake. A lake is defined as a body of water that is surrounded by land. What makes it a freshwater lake is that the water has less than 500 parts per million of dissolved salts. This definition can range from a small pond in your backyard from a night of heavy rainfall to the complicated system of Great Lakes in North America that have been present for the past 10,000 years. Despite the world being 70% water, fresh bodies of water make up only 0.8% of the water in the world. Because of the wide variety of fresh bodies of water, there is a huge range of temperature. The average temperature of a freshwater biome during the summer is between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit and during the winter, 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. This varies a lot around the globe because it is mainly determined by season, depth, and location. As stated many times before, lakes vary. Another way that they vary is by how they are formed. The most common way in the northern hemisphere is by glaciers. Glaciers occupied the earth during the last ice age and because of gravity, the glaciers created basins and valleys. Basins are basically large ditches or holes in the ground. Over time, these glaciers melted and created lakes. This was the process which created Great Lakes in North America. Each lake is split into three different zones. The littoral zone, which is the section closest to the shore, is the shallowest and the lightest portion of the lake because sunlight is able to reach all the way to the bottom of the water. The limnetic zone spans the rest of the surface area of the lake, but is only the top section of the water. It is light, like the littoral zone, and warm because sunlight is able to reach it. Underneath the limnetic zone is the profundal zone, which is dark and cold because sunlight is not able to reach all the way to the bottom. The freshwater biome is home to over 700 species of fish and 1,200 species of amphibians, mollusks, and insects. Some of the biome's most abundant creatures are frogs, crab, shrimp, turtles, beavers, and only in the largest lakes, manatee. You can also find fish such as bass, salmon, and trout. On the shoreline of lakes and other bodies of freshwater, you may find animals such as raccoons, earthworms, and possums. These animals thrive from the wildlife surrounding the lake. The plants that thrive in the freshwater biome are mainly low-lying plants such as grass, sedge, spike rush, bulrush, cattail, and water lilies. Also found in lakes is algae known as cyanobacteria, which provides nutrients for many animals. These plants also provide oxygen through the process of photosynthesis to the water and animals. There are mainly three types of soil in a freshwater lake. These include clay, which is the smallest, most dense, and very nutrient-rich type of soil, silt, the most desirable type of soil, and the one that we think of when we go to a freshwater lake, sand. The water quality of a freshwater lake declines because of acidification. Acidification is caused naturally and also by human impacts such as burning of fossil fuels and acidic pollution. Meanwhile, the plants in the freshwater lake rely on nitrogen and phosphorus to live. In order for this to happen, they need to be in small amounts. If they are in large amounts, it causes eutrophication. Eutrophication is an algae population growth which lowers the water quality by decreasing the O2 counts. More specifically, let's go to the closest freshwater biome to us, Lake Michigan. Currently, the temperature of the lake is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Lake Michigan, like many other freshwater lakes, is home to many different types of plants and animals. The gross primary production and net primary production depends on where you are in Lake Michigan. The highest NPP is in the littoral zone, then limnetic zone, and then finally the profundal zone. For thousands of years, the Great Lakes, especially Lake Michigan, have created a biodiverse home for many species. We are lucky to live so close to such an amazing biome. 